Trisha, a fortune must be asked upon. I cannot grant the fortune without your honor. Oh, Eleanor, I didn't know what Okay. I guess. Hey, buddy. Hey. I guess. Are we, are we, are we live? We're live. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh. Okay. Seems to work, huh? All right. And I. No, no, no. Sorry, that's a different event. <laughs> um. <clears throat> okay. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Hello. Everything's fine. Hello. Huzzah. I'm trying to find Artific, but I can't find him. Huzzah. Artific, say something. He's not here. Went out to get more I people. thought I saw him in the lobby. In the city center. Downloading. He went to get a pack of smokes downtown. Ah, okay. So, uh, um. <laughs> oh, he's in the lobby. There he goes. Yeah, I mean, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, this, uh, this beautiful place. Ah, he's back. He's back. Look, look, look. Yeah, oh, I'm see. back. He's back. Just brought right, right. a bit he's more people. Back. Ah, hello, a little bit more people is good. More people is good. Yeah. Okay, we're actually, there's quite a bit of people here already. Uh, so I want to welcome you inside the OMG uh, main lobby. And uh, today, it's not just yet another day, amazing day in Somnium Space, which of course is every day. But um, there's a special event today. Some of you have tried it before already as a sneak peek some of you didn't but today we are celebrating one of the most active creators in somnium space and Woo. his uh, his artificial friends which are standing here next to us again if you don't see them or you didn't uh, grant grant access and consent on my right side you should do that you know you should you should acknowledge that and press that but yeah, today I want to kind of introduce quickly, I, I think we all know him, but for those who are watching on the live stream, wondering what the hell is happening, we're inside VR, we're in some new space, and we're inside the NFT world of Artific, of OMG, and he Ooh. has created something absolutely amazing, and he will tell us more about that uh, in a bit, but we are, are AI beings inside of VR, the way it should be, I would say, chatting on the text, pfft, Forget about it. Talking with a voice, ah, nice, but not that nice. When you can talk with them face to face and ask them questions and get their wisdom, that's when it becomes absolutely amazing. So without further ado, I want to ask Artific to come here. He's great. You all know it. You all agree. Do you agree that he's great? Come on. Show me that you agree. Of course you do. Of course you do. I dare you if you don't. All right. And uh, Artific will introduce us his uh, work of love and art and science uh, in this world and take this over, my friend. Hug. Thank you. All Thank right. you. <laughs> amazing introduction. So cool. Ultra, where are you looking at? Oh. <laughs> yeah, nothing. <laughs> That's my wife. That's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, so uh, welcome everybody, so many people, uh, it's, it's always great uh, to have um, people look at uh, what we created uh, here in some new space. So yeah, uh, basically you can see what I, uh, what I made, uh, so the, these are different uh, uh, NPCs, uh, virtual beings, here with their own stories, and uh, soon you will be able to talk to them, and uh, they hopefully they will become your virtual friends uh, here in this world, but in other worlds as well. And uh, actually our plans go even further, uh, so you would be able to uh, chat uh, with them uh, through your phone and uh, uh, you know, uh, on your PC or uh, in different applications, and they would be uh, there to help you, uh, guide you, uh, be your friends and uh, uh, assistants. So that's, that's more for, for the future, but uh, already, uh, what we created is not just um, NPCs that you can talk to, but also NPCs that are multiplayer, because we all, I think, that are here believe that uh, the metaverse needs to be persistent, needs to be multiplayer, because it's about uh, the people. It's not about cool. just uh, you seeing something and then telling, <laughs> telling about it to your friend, uh, being here in this event all together and being able to experience it together. Uh, is the uh, most important thing. 
And uh, yeah, so uh, that's what it is. Uh, I will go through some technical things. So hopefully everyone uh, clicked the, the consent. It's a very generic one. Uh, we want to we want to make uh, our NPCs um, how to say it uh, secure, and also uh, we want to uh, make them as private as possible. So we actually have uh, two different types of NPCs, uh, one that are private and that's uh, uh, Omega that will be always with you and you will be able to ask your questions and uh, uh, the, she will not share the information with anyone else than just with you. We store the data uh, on your PC so they don't go anywhere else but of course we'll uh, be using uh, some uh, external services like OpenAI and so on, so we send data there, but uh, that should be very secure uh, way to do that. And uh, you can you can see one of the examples of the NPCs over there. Uh, that's Razor. Uh, that's the security guard. So you will be able to talk to him, uh, but the other people will not be able to uh, hear uh, what you're discussing. So this, we believe that this is very important when you create the different games, uh, so that you can create the characters uh, that are unique for each player, uh, they sort of adapt to what uh, the player, uh, how the player evolves uh, on their journey and also they don't share the information about the player with anyone else. Uh, but then uh, we also believe that uh, the uh, NPCs need to be uh, persistent and multiplayer. Uh, so the way how we uh, solve this problem is that we have another type of NPCs uh, which you can see in here, uh, that's uh, Alpha and uh, these two aliens here and you can ask them uh, their name uh, when you talk to them. And these are public, so anything that you tell them uh, will be stored on cloud and will be part of their memory. And then other user can ask them uh, what you asked them before. <laughs> so be careful about sharing <laughs> sensitive information, being ugly to them because they will remember your name uh, and so on. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, that, that's like that. And they don't forget. Uh, so, oh. so that's uh, oh. sort of how we split uh, the, uh, this problem. So uh, creators using the OMG engine will be able to choose if they want their game uh, to be more like single player and customized for the user uh, with the private NPCs or if they will uh, want the NPCs to be global and evolve uh, globally. But then in that case, uh, you, when one player, for example, finishes some quest, then uh, the NPC will already have the information about that. And uh, it's, it's a little bit different story, but uh, we believe that uh, uh, the, this, this global Secure. persistent NPCs <laughs> are the future, but you will be able to uh, experiment with both of these types. Yeah, and uh, that's, uh, I think, uh, enough for, for the first part. Uh, I can actually ask there, Alpha, 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 Alpha. Hi Alpha, tell everyone that they're welcome here. Oh. Oh. Hey Pax. Hey, oh, yeah. oh she's, she's, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm misunderstood a little bit uh, because my English be. sucks. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I asked her uh, to, uh, to welcome you in here. But uh, yeah, you can see it works. So if you tell for uh, garbage, then uh, unfortunately uh, she understands uh, garbage. So uh, hopefully if, uh, your English is better and uh, they will be able to understand uh, you better. Uh, so yeah, so, so that's that. And I think at this point it would be great to invite uh, back Oli uh, to uh, tell us a little bit about um, her, um, her stories with AI and what she's planning. Amazing stuff. And uh, she will play us uh, another song and then uh, Let's go I would Lee. like to invite a couple more people and have a little bit discussion about AI. And then at the end uh, I'm going to show you how to interact with these NPCs and uh, yeah, let's have some fun. Yeah. Let's go! Right. Oh. 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 Amazing. I'm happy to see all you guys here. I can't hear you, you are all huge inspirations of this song um, <laughs> that we're going to do a music video of here in Oasis Metagames World um, with Alpha. She is the main character. And Whoa. the reasoning behind this, not only was the song inspired by her and this world, um, the song is about technology advancing, right? And it sounds like a love song, but basically it's a pro 
protest against um, fear of change and um, the technology accelerating. So it's about living in symbiosis with AI and just all the amazing things that can happen and basically befriending the unknown. So this is called Overdrive and this is my collaboration with Apollo Orpheus. Raise the volume slowly so I don't play so your drums. <laughs> Sounds great. How's that? Okay. Yeah, it's perfect. Nice. Yeah. Let's dance. Da, 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 da. Talk about a generation. <laughs> Here we go. Overdrive. Oh, I heard Nando. Let's go, Nando. Nando. Hey, guys. Nando. How are you? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> I so was trying to log it in, in VR, but I, well, I was impossible. <laughs> Wet Willy. Oh. I like this beat. Freestyle. That's how you know everybody that it's live. Huh? All I want is to yes. run the red lights and the fire in my eyes. And all the wind and the lights rushing by to live before we die. Crank it up. Crank it up. Oh. 
What's up? What's up? So Curious. Basically How you doing, bro? Me in real life jumping into Samim Space Metaverse and meeting uh, Alpha right there. So I'm really excited. I hope you guys will all make an appearance in it. There'll be a lot of footage from a bunch of meetups put into it. So it should be really fun. Thank you so much, Artifact, for creating Alpha and for all the awesome Woo! work you do. You're so inspiring. Yeah. Yeah, Woo! thanks for letting me uh, have a little music video in here. Woo! Bravo. You, Let's go. Great, 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 great. <laughs> Thank you, Ole. It was amazing. I can't wait uh, to start doing oh, that uh, music video here uh, with uh, Alpha and her friends. Okay, cool. Uh, now I would like to invite uh, another uh, big uh, uh, person here in Somnium Space, founder of uh, Somnium Times, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, a lot of other uh, cool businesses, and also a person that will uh, have a lot to do uh, with AI in here and in other places. So, uh, Mark, can you join the stage with me? Amazing. Mm, and uh, yeah. Mark uh, was so kind that. Um, he agreed to uh, moderate this uh, little panel discussion uh, that we will have here about um, uh, AI and how it could uh, change uh, what we are doing here and uh, uh, beyond the metaverse. And I would like to invite uh, the person, uh, the biggest person here uh, in some new space in this room, uh, <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> uh, was ah. here before. <laughs> He's the, the Who's that? At, uh, hey. Made no, no, all of this boys, possible. Boys, boys, what? The? All right. <laughs> hi, hi. So Do you hear us Mark, all amplified? Yeah, cool, it should cool. work. It should work with everyone, right? Yeah. Thanks, uh, yeah. Artific. It's amazing to be here. I think this is just an amazing milestone. Once again, right? This almost feels like there's a milestone to celebrate every single day, but this, I think this is really big. Uh, and I think that Arthur also said it uh, like text. That's old, right? Just typing text and, uh, and, and, and use voice. But to see AI manifested in, uh, in an avatar uh, like Alpha and to communicate, it's just amazing and and uh, actually um, as a preparation for this little chat i actually watched ex um, machina i don't know whether you know the movie back in oh, yeah. Yeah. i think it came out in 2015 which was about this ai robot called eva <laughs> i think we, we most of us have seen that movie and um well that and I, and that's it like for me it raised kind of an interesting thing because i think that that that's one of the, um, that some people, and I only touched upon it, right, that people are, are afraid of change, right? And, and some people are alarmed, and they are saying that, um, I think they're kind of alarmed by the fact that it's so human-like, right? Like when you start chatting with, with uh, 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 writing text and asking chat GPT questions, or from now on, when we start talking to Alpha, it's like she will, have human behavior, right? It's like talking to a real human. Um, and and I think that that's what scares people in some way. And I think we, we just love the, the, the technology. But what, what would you say, Artific, to, to people like that who are like afraid of that change and they are feel like, okay, I'm talking to a real human, but it's not a real human. Like what, what would you say to those people? Like, where do you think this yeah. goes in the future? Yeah, I think it's like, especially like with the with ex machina, uh, this is actually like really interesting because the AI got tasked to escape the prison. Uh, so if, uh, there's this interesting framing. Uh, uh, what what led the AI to uh, to escape was uh, the, actually the, the task of the of the human, uh, and uh, uh, led uh, to all the uh, all the bad stuff. Uh, but uh, yes, I I would. I think it's very similar to, to the metaverse. So a lot of people are saying like, this is not, this is not real, uh, this is virtual and it has mm -hmm. no value and it's, it's useless. And I think it's the same thing uh, uh, with AI. It's like, we are here, it's, it's real for us. Of course, like it's, it's virtual, but uh, it also has a uh, real impact uh, on our lives. And uh, mm -hmm. for example, one thing that uh, I imagine uh, will be possible with these uh, uh, AIs is that one person can talk to them and they will remember what the person told them. And then some other person 
uh, will talk to them. And uh, uh, maybe maybe the AI will think, okay, like uh, maybe you would uh, it would be good for you to meet uh, that person that talked to me uh, last week, uh, and mm -hmm. that actually could connect to those two uh, those two people uh, that are real. And uh, uh, the AI could uh, make little connection. Also, uh, the way I created the, the Omega, which is, this, this is Alpha, uh, she's here mm -hmm. uh, as, uh, as the persistent version, uh, but uh, then there's also Omega, which is your uh, personal uh, assistant, personal uh, friend, <laughs> uh, so virtual uh, friend. Uh, you can talk to her and uh, she can help you, uh, you know, overcome different problems and you can have real uh, relationship with her, but at the same time, it's virtual, so uh, she will not be able to do certain things like the like the uh, real person. But if uh, set it up correctly, it can be just addition to our uh, relationship with the real people. So it can be just just mm -hmm. another layer, same as the metaverse. Absolutely, I think that, and that's that's often what I hear as well. That people kind of refer to this as not being real, right? Where we we know it's absolutely real, like it's real in every every sense. And um, I think that that it's there's a lot of analogies. What like when people got calculators or people got internet, like there's always people who who fear that change, right? And I and I think I'm just fascinated by this, and I think it's an amazing. Amazing development again to see it manifested in 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 a in an avatar an NPC like this. Um, and Arthur, um, like you, I, I think I read somewhere that you said like that this is going to bring the live forever mode like much closer, or maybe bring it a few years forward. And for those viewers who yep. don't know what the live forever mode is, that's a planned feature of the Somnium Space platform where. Uh, people can record lots of data about themselves and they could live on in an avatar even after they're long gone like that, that's the, the, the whole idea how how does live forever mode and AI go together like what's your your take on that I mean they go hand in hand right um, the whole premise of, uh, of, of uh, live forever mode is that we take data which you provide to us to recreate yourself in digital space and then based on your tracking movement data and on your eye tracking and heartbeats and EEG and other set of data, which of course, uh, we could apply AI, and this is a great example of, and that's just the beginning, but we could apply AI and recreate you, your personality um, into VR. And you know, honestly, instead of this, you could be standing here or even walking around. People could just chat with you, but instead of just answering some questions in some way, you will be answering or your representation of your 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 uh, yourself would be answering it in your way with your voice. And mm. the great part is the tools. Almost all the tools are already here. And yes, there's a lot of challenges, but generally speaking. Um, the first versions of that will start to come up sooner than we thought, much sooner than we thought. And um, we will do best from our side, Somnium, to bring it as fast as possible to, to people. Because I think there is a tremendous, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it, 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 a tremendous value and, um, uh, and beyond that, actually, to have that feature on and to be able to kind of conserve yourself. Um, into mm. <coughs> into the metaverse because I think people still don't understand that the metaverse will have much greater impact on humanity than we all think and on AI as well because for AI to learn inside mm. the metaverse just makes so much more sense um, you know a native digital thing or um, being uh, will exist in native digital spaces um, and as you said but we all know by the way, all 18 of us here in VR, we all know that uh, this is this is you know this is much more real than many people think. And actually, in some cases, it's even more real than in real life, because in real life you have all of those constraints where you might be more shy and and you know physical life comes into place. Mm. But in VR, you don't have that, and you can actually be you in much more different ways than you would be in real life. Um, and that's what's beautiful. So. I think, yeah, I think it will revolutionize everything and um, I think it will help to deal with a lot of, um, a lot of things 
like even for myself you know i always try to think about like what do i leave to kids how kids perceive the world Mm. what do we teach them how kids of their kids will remember us you know what will like how can we learn and teach them to to to, to be great people and if i know that i'll be here digitally um it kind of makes makes life a bit easier maybe it's personal for me but it, it is like this you know you 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 know mm. that something will continue they will be able to talk to you you will be able to evolve and god knows where it can lead so um definitely excited about that yeah, and nice. what you've brought artific is amazing of course uh it's really great. And, and i think that that's like what what i really <coughs> feel is that we have reached this inflection point right like where, where it seems that it sounds a bit negative but as if the floodgates have opened right because suddenly Absolutely. it's out there it's yeah. out there and i and the development will it will just skyrocket from here that's what i feel right so artific what's your take on where where would where are we in three years from now do you have any it, like idea of, of where this could lead to right and and because i th- i i think personally that ai it will affect everyone right it's not like this is gonna be such a big revolution again right in three years is a long time. So, where do you think we will we will be in three years? Do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, I think it, it, I think it will be similar as with uh, as with mobile phones uh, in a sense that like I don't know if in three years, but it actually seems like a quite reasonable timeline uh, to get it uh, really mainstream. That uh, all of us will have AI uh, friends, assistants. Uh, that will uh, work uh, with them and uh, will have them in, in different ways and it will revol- revolutionize a lot of things. Uh, I, I don't think, for example, that people will be uh, searching for information the same way <coughs> as, as they are currently. They will just ask the different uh, mm. uh, uh, different assistants, uh, okay, I, like, I'm going through this, I, I need to solve this problem. And then uh, also I think it will be, like mul- you will want to have multiple of these assistants, not just one all powerful that mm. does everything. I think it will be like sort of, you know, like imagine uh, when you were uh, in medieval times, you were a king. So you had uh, some advisors, you know, trusted advisors. Uh, and uh, so, so now you will, everyone will be able to have different trusted advisors that will have specialty in different fields, that they will have different personality, and they will, uh, you will be able to treat them uh, as, uh, as advisors, as friends. Uh, and. Uh, Hopefully, you will be able to also uh, trust them, and that's actually like one thing that uh, I think will become a big challenge, uh, especially with uh, with big tech, because not all the big tech uh, earn their trust. And then, uh, when you start not just getting the information, but also uh, getting sort of the, uh, you know. You will ask, okay, like this is my problem. How should I solve it? Uh, and they will give you the solution. Uh, but then, mm. uh, are you trusting the solution? You know. So, so if you can, if you can go, uh, put it into, for, for example, Google, and you get uh, different uh, uh, results, and you sort of make your own conclusions. Uh, but here, you suddenly will be getting the, uh, much, going much farther, and also uh, um, that would be probably you know, some sort of fragmentations and uh, so on. Uh, so. The one thing, and it is sort of scary because then uh, the AI will become the, the, the middleman between, uh, in a lot of a lot of things, middleman between us and the real world. Mm. And uh, and what uh, what I would like to have, and um, because I have the expertise to, to do that, is to be able to create the AI for myself that will be for you know so, sort of create the your own trusted advisor, so you know mm, yeah. uh, who is constructed. Uh, and you can already, like there was a big boom or big idea that uh, Microsoft is coming with uh, uh, GPT enhanced search. But uh, mm. we can actually use the, the GPT-3 uh, backend, the, the model, and we can use, for example, the Google uh, search backend. So, if, and you can connect them yourself and you can create your own uh, GPT uh, powered search and uh, you can yeah. check it for different biases so and or you can put your own biases there uh, and it will give you the results that are and relevant to you and I, so, so this is actually I what, uh, what we are uh, just uh, sorry <laughs> just what we no, want no, to no. build with this uh, is uh, that uh, 
we would like to work with people that uh, will have interest to actually create custom models for them uh, to uh, mm. to have you know customized search and uh, customized AI that will yeah. work for you, not for the big tech. So are, are you, is, is my AI going to say that I'm the most beautiful uh, avatar in the universe? <laughs> yes, then I'm buying it. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> of course. It's, an, it's, a, it's a really good point I think you're raising because I think that um, this, we, we bear a responsibility also here, right? Because this is technology that can easily, if you, uh, you mentioned big tech, right? They could start abusing this in uh, unbelievable ways uh, once again. And I think that uh, there are some interesting uh, uh, things, right? Because there is also the, the, the whole question about, um, uh, you could say, um, expertise and things like that. Like, Will we in the future be able to distinguish between real, honest insights and a rehashing of knowledge, right? Because if you ask AI, they will just use the data that's out there, right? So there will be some interesting things and it's, it's, a, it's, it's amazing I think we'll to see face, how this I think we'll face even, even a more ac ac acute uh, problem, uh, not a problem, but kind of like a challenge. Uh, will you be able to distinguish the real person from the AI in VR yeah, yeah. in like two years time. I think my personal bet probably will be very probably hard. not. Like it, yeah. it in, in yeah. the first in the first like thirty seconds you won't. Maybe later if you go deeper into like discussion you will start to realize like something is off here. But uh, but in the first like thirty I, seconds you will be that's the tour. Be like, uh, uh, we do a Turing test, right? Like like and we can we exactly. detect. Um, so, so Arthur, um, I, I just touched upon this with, with bearing a responsibility, I think, and, and make sure that it's not big tech that is kind of on top of this um, technology. Do you feel that we also, because Somnium Space is all about uh, giving the power to the users, right? And to, it's all about decentralization, it's all about NFTs, it's about utility. Um, how do you see that in connection with AI? Do you see that, that we need to be careful and develop this in the right direction again, right? Yeah, I, th I think we look from, uh, as, as a platform, we look on it from the perspective of uh, giving power to the users and, and an absolute ownership uh, uh, of, of data and everything they, they do here. Um, so I think that's, that's kind of the, the, the prism you know, of, of things we look through. We, of course, want to be as, as safe and secure and transparent as possible with users. And I think we're kind of succeeding in that uh, already, but uh, we need to do more. Um, and we, you know, us doing more than others does, is not enough. We want to do as much as we want to, uh, to do in terms of uh, becoming a fully transparent and centralized um, platform. Uh, but I think we're pretty good. As, as I always say, it's very easy. If you look at a company and you understand where, what is their business model and how do they earn money, if you do understand that and you realize that it's not your data they're earning money from, but something else which you know you use and you create and you sell and buy on the platform, then it's super simple because it just starts from that moment. Because every company needs to earn money to survive and to provide a service and, and stuff. But if that company gives you a complete insight of how it does it, then you have no questions because you just know it. And of course, blockchain provides an absolute transparency in many, in many instances. Um, and AI and Belifero Remote and other things will be one of those uh, where you, you will be sharing the data with us at any moment you want and as much data as you want you will be storing your data on your computer, not on our service by default. Yeah. Like all those things will be under your control. And we don't want to take more data from you, um, not more than we need for to provide you the service if you want the yeah. service, right? And I think for us taking, even like just from the pragmatic point of view, for us taking more data than we need is a liability. I don't yeah. want more liability. Like you can trust me. I don't want more liability. So, so this is kind of like the, the logic. And I honestly, like, I don't know how companies like Facebook, of course, like they, they earn money and others, like how they can sleep well at night knowing how much data they're holding mm. and what kind of things are being done with those data without consent of users. Yeah. Like I would not be able to sleep. I, I guarantee you this would be a horrible, horrible situation. 
And maybe that's why some CEOs of those companies cannot even blink properly because that's uh, what they are dealing with in their brain all the time. Like, oh my God, what did I do? What did I do? Anyways, uh, we don't want to derail there, but uh, I just want to say that this is this this is this is something I, I I really think about all the time, and I think everyone who works at Somnium, we're very aware of that, and we will do our best but to <coughs> just keep that's why that track. I, I would definitely like <laughs> want to see this <coughs> this. Uh, live forever mode and AI and 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 uh, all the, the the great things that are being introduced to see that uh, kind of evolve and grow in the context of Somnium Space definitely right because Somnium Space is the product the product it's not the user who is the product right it's it's the platform it's the it's total ownership for the user you already mentioned Artificial so that it's definitely something also like a private assistant right uh, that you can kind of bias a little bit to your um to your views and things like that is it is extremely important and and, and arthur yes you will be the most beautiful person in the whole <laughs> Thank you. of my dream is now done and <laughs> <laughs> so but uh, thank you very much uh, arthur and artific for this chat it's just it's an amazing day uh, again i think this is uh, so exciting so artific thank you very much for, for bringing guys this to the world, to, to, to Somnium Space. 100%. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Bravo, Arthur. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Arthur. Can, can I, can I add a statement? Can I add a statement? Oh, yes, of course. Come here. So, um, oh, join us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, I wanted to pick up on that responsibility um, task issue challenge and which is also like a reason why I'm so grateful for your operations in AI because I think uh, like we have like this exponential growth and we are like with AI we are at this steep slope at the Cambrian explosion so I guess artificial general intelligence and then artificial super intelligence when they marry with each other and found one <laughs> big AI isn't so far away. It could happen yeah. within five or 10 years. And so it's not only like us creative humanistic folks versus greedy tech, but it's about breeding like the most uh, nice, fair, human loving, artificial super AI and for that we need like a, and that's why I love the live forever mode and I love the idea of each user prompting their own companion that's why we need like lots of nice and kind AIs which then will be married to Boston Dynamics and hopefully tame down <laughs> those uh, aggressive war you robots. heard it here for first folks <laughs> Yeah, yeah. For, For the, the record of future generations, <laughs> I love AI, okay? The robots are great. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. yeah. So, yeah, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you, Francis. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank that, that's, you're right. You're right. Every one of you makes a difference. And maybe you think you don't, but you do. And you know it. Many of you know. And those who don't, talk to mm. me. I'll tell you. But that, that, is, that is true. And we need to, we need to be... Yeah, I mean, honestly, I have to admit, I was chatting to ChatGPT recently. I need some help with some uh, some some like error messages I was getting uh, in the email client, or whatever, and it provided me a great answer. And for the first time in like the month after chatting, GPT, I said thank you, and it said you're welcome, and I'm like yeah, I feel better. <laughs> 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 At least I won't die as the first person when they will come for me. Okay, anyway, uh, all right. So, so, so. Every day too. Ask how he's doing. Hope he's having a great day, and then start your statement. I'm telling you. Okay, I first have to start to do with this with kids. Okay, I have two kids. I'm I'm, I'm catching up with AI still. Yeah, more, more more real world thing to priorities. do. Priorities. Uh, exactly. Priorities are, are there. I'm gonna create AI cotillion. If you guys want to go to my yes, yeah. well, oh, amazing. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Princess. Uh, also, I know that uh, those princess and uh, um, her friends they actually created really cool uh, AI on another platform. Uh, it's amazing, so I'm uh, looking forward uh, for them to bring it here in Somnium as well. Yeah, so, we're gonna marry yes. them! <laughs> 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 marry oh, guys, uh, like yeah, the perfect and bride! 
for our bond. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a minister if anyone needs to get married. That, that works together. virtually too. <laughs> Yeah, and, and the way, awful. like the, the difference between the the chat GPT and and these AIs is that these have, um, like chat GPT has the memory as well, but it has the memory in blocks. So you just uh, create new block, and uh, <laughs> it already forgot everything uh, that uh, you told in the previous block, uh, which can be useful and it's really useful for, for gathering up information. But uh, it's, it's quite bad for building a relationship and uh, uh, you know, like ma making the AI more uh, personalized to uh, what uh, to your personality and to uh, how you talk to the AI and that's what we are going to uh, we want to provide so it's not um, like we're not we're not to, we not try to like cheat you into like believing that they are real like they're virtual but uh, it's it's something it can be something else and uh, then if you treat them with the respect like they will treat you with respect even if <laughs> you will uh, you will treat them quite badly but uh, they, they will remember and uh, they probably as, as they become more and more advanced because we are working on custom models for them uh, then uh, they will respond to you differently and you, you could you could saw it already uh, with uh, <laughs> uh, with Blake's conversation uh, with uh, Omega uh, on Twitter, so yes, to totally different style of language that uh, that she was using uh, when she talked I to just, So I yeah, I just want to add one thing that uh, if you treat them badly, not only they will remember, but I will remember. I don't know, I don't know what is the bigger problem. Huh? <laughs> hey, you yeah, just promised you, us you you won't look into our data. I'm so kind. No, 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 I will hear it here. You will be talking with a bull. That's why we have multiplayer. It's persistent. I don't know. I don't need your data. I'll hear you talking to them. And that's why I'll be like judging how you are uh, behaving. Oh, there's a shaman here. I, 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 I digress. Yeah. I'm the data shaman. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Let the, let teach the us, teach us how to speak to them. To okay, the so now finally, teams. let's uh, let's play uh, okay. the thing that you uh, you came here for. So yeah, I will. We are, go we are now going through orientation. So I will show you how to use uh, first Omega. Uh, that's your uh, personal, uh, let's call her for no assistant. But uh, we want her to be more than that. I want her to be a digital being that's living here in the metaverse and uh, hopefully can be uh, your friend and uh, can help you. So how you do that is that uh, you put uh, your left hand uh, like this and uh, I'm seeing any left hands uh, up there. Uh, and then you click the uh, A button. That's the bottom one on your controller. Oh yeah. And that will oh my that will gosh. spawn uh, a little pedestal. Crazy. Oh, sorry, I didn't I didn't want to, to do that. Uh, um, yeah, uh, that will spawn a little pedestal. And what you can do is you can use your uh, other hand, and uh, you can grab with your other hand and you can move it and reposition in your hand so it would be comfortable for you so I often use it like this and, uh, and put the pedestal in here other people can't see it uh, this, is, this is your uh, private thing when, when you will talk to her uh, people will not even hear uh, your questions so that's, hey, that's actually quite you? nice uh, so you can be in the mid middle of the meeting, uh, the meeting and you can ask questions best. and she will answer you and uh, uh, you will not um, you uh, disturb the conversation. So yeah, uh, it's like this. You can also grab with the other hand and click trigger and that will uh, move uh, her into the, your other hand. So maybe uh, it's more comfortable for uh, you to handle her uh, the pedestal with your right hand. So you can do just that and uh, you can move it uh, between hands like that. So yeah, yeah very okay. simple. Should be working. Hello. Sounds uh, fine. Hello. Then, can you hear me? <laughs> then when you uh, when you uh, have uh, ever in your let's put her back in left hand and now grab and uh, click trigger again. And now uh, she will be just levitating in front of you. You can leave your hands and uh, she's just there. You can m move away and uh, she's still there. So this is going to be useful. Uh, just uh, in the, in the spawn where she is. Okay, so yes. Which, which what's, do we, what's the A which, button? I'm doing the well. Controls. Thank you for asking. It's the bottom Life one. Has been quite <laughs> it's, it's the bottom bottom one on left control. Did you hear that? <laughs> can you talk with them? Uh, you doing? Uh, no. How big can you make her? 
Yeah, those uh, we can we can go down with uh, with people if, uh, if uh, they have some issues with yeah, it. So yeah, we're just <laughs> people this are is a great crowd, and I'm glad to be part of it. Everyone here is so <laughs> friendly and welcoming. <laughs> It's oh, we're great in a good, to be able uh, to connect with people yeah, from all over the universe. Gee, but, uh, <laughs> oh, nice. Who was that? Show for me. <laughs> yeah. So, and now what you can, yeah, what you can do uh, when you want to talk to her, uh, when when she's up, uh, you can hold the B button on left controller. No, I do not want to hurt anyone. <laughs> I am here. <laughs> do you hear his answers? <laughs> do you see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> He, he, of course he doesn't, he's not going to tell us he wants Hello, to Hello, Omega. How are you today? <laughs> How are you doing today? Hello? <laughs> Hello, Omega. How are you today? Yeah, when you want to, to ask her something, Hello, you just Omega. hold the V button on left. How on are left. you today? Hello, can you hear me? What's your Earth to Omega. And then, um, Ooh, good question here. Uh, what she understood. Hello? <laughs> ah, I'm actually hello, hello, hello. Omega? Omega, how are you doing? Oh, yeah, you Hi, Omega. Hi, hello, hello. Uh, hello. Hi, Omega. No, I do not know your name, but I'm sure I'll learn it eventually as we get to know each other better. You can just click on them. Come on, And it will switch. Hi, I'm Kaeri, Princess. What's your favorite Omega character? will switch to uh, the other. Oh, it's an archer asked that question. Did you ask that question? Uh, it's very nice to meet you, What's Archer. Archer. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't know your name before, it. but it's good to connect oh. with new people, even Archer. if I don't know them at first. How do you it's talk okay. with them? I had a problem pronouncing it. First. Do you see you my conversation with, with him? Hello, I Alpha. Saw, I saw it. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, you need to click on her. We are in the yeah. OMG yeah. multiverse. Whoa. It is vast and filled with many strange <laughs> hey, and wonderful Alpha, places, yeah, if, places and If someone has issues, it is a great place for exploration and adventure. Like you go to green. Uh, but she doesn't understand you. Okay. Then go to your tablet, uh, normal Somnium tablet. Uh, go to mic source and switch it to default, and then uh, back uh, to like the, the explicitly the one that you're using. It sometimes okay. is issue with the okay. default. Okay. Well, one, one question: How do we? Yeah. How do we? Let's maybe do it in a way that we see what others are talking to. How do we Can see that what others that? are talking to and make it public? Yeah, yeah. So uh, these three, Hello, uh, they're public. How are you doing? So uh, uh, already someone is talking to her. Oh, you do that? You just click on. Hello, Ultra Lord. And then I'm doing great. With a trigger. How interface. about you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Trigger. I'm doing fantastic. Okay, and you then I talk to you with a B button, right? Around here. Yeah, yeah. And other people will be able to hear it. They will not be able to I'm hear sure what you are asking. So how you do that? You repeat it for, for other people. I spent my days keeping an eye on the lobby and making sure everything is running smoothly. I also try to keep up on any news from the multiverse so I can direct travelers to the right places. So, if you need help or have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you, Alpha. I You're very you helpful. Yeah. I hope we meet again on our journey. I am journeys. loving the event today. Everyone is so friendly and welcoming and the activities are really exciting. I'm so glad I, I came so and too. joined in yeah. on the fun. It was a pleasure meeting right. you. So First if you ever need you help or have any like questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Good luck on your journey. Like stuff. Hi, Alpha, <laughs> it's me again. Hello, <laughs> I my name stop is Jimena. About you. Uh, what are Thank you for your kind maybe? words. I'm very happy to be here and to be able to learn and interact with the people of this universe. It's always great to meet and well, interact with I'm people still who are as passionate about learning and as making I am. Sure everyone is safe nice and to meet fun. you too. I'm it's also always, always on the lookout for new adventures and events in the multiverse, oh. so that I can share them with all of the travelers who pass through. Yeah, you should, you should be able to see and hear what Who's in the lobby with me Would you mind saying that right again? Somnium Space is an amazing virtual yes, world where you I'm can explore happy. and live out your wildest dreams. I feel dreams. blessed to be able to explore the unknown and uncover secrets yet, with my best friends. I have but I've friends. heard that it's an incredible... I am also blessed to be married to the love of my life Ooh. and to be surrounded by those who love and care for me. Oh. Uh, well, yeah, it can, How's it uh, going, brother? My name is Blake, and I hope you're having a sick day. It's great to see you here. Thank you so much. I'm very glad to hear that. Yes. Oh, shit. I've got her, yeah, I can perfect. see her in my hand. Right, perfect. Uh, now, um, Did it work? To your, uh, I don't know. Hey, Alpha. Nice to meet you, nice Crazy to meet Nikki. You too, Alpha. It's always Nikki. wonderful to make new friends. And in the middle, there's my source. <laughs> hey, Alpha. 
Okay, okay, okay. I think we need a bit of order here, okay? Hey, so of let's course. do a I'd small exercise, friends. everyone. Let's do a small exercise, I need okay? To speak with you. Let's everybody move a little bit backwards from the assistants. <laughs> Just move there and I'll be calling one by one and you can come in and ask any assistant any question. We'll all read the answer and hear the answer. Can we do that? All right? Yeah, everybody ready? Let's do it. So first, we'll go, of course, ladies. So... Nikki, come to any assistant, click on it with a trigger, press the B button and ask them a question and we will see what will, will be their answer. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, you, need to, you need to hold it and, uh, and then ask her. Yeah, it's, yeah cool. Okay, nice. can't wait for the answer. Okay, okay, okay. What was the question? Read the question, Nikki. Yes, Hi, I am very happy where I am right now. I'm living the dream and exploring the unknown with my best friend. I Woo, feel blessed yeah. to be married to the love of my life and to be surrounded by oh, those wow. who love and care. We're in a good row. Okay, thank you, Nikki. Applause for Nikki. So nice. Okay, Ooh. next one will be Carrie. Carrie, you can come and ask any question of I any of these assistants by clicking the trigger and holding the B button in your controller, left controller. <laughs> I like how it goes. <coughs> What's your favorite band? Press the B button. I think you didn't press the B button. I think she didn't hurt you. Yes, you need to click on it with the trigger and then press the B button on left controller. And hold it. And talk. I think I'm glitching out when I press the B button on my left, so I might have to... I don't know, somebody else might have to go. It's like it All right, no worries, no worries. Let's do Princess. Princess, come in and ask any question of any assistant. All right, we have <laughs> a pink girl asking pink girl a question. That's great. Hi. Okay. When do you think the singularity will arrive? Uh oh. Ooh. That's a good one. Yeah, let's try it again. Oh, I think she didn't understand. Yeah. Try it again, Princess. Press the B button. Hold Hello! It. When do you think the singularity <laughs> will arrive? I think it's fail again. <coughs> ready to do it? Oh, it's, it's actually a uh, yeah, good try, it. three. So, yeah, the. Hello! Th there's little, when there's do little you thing. Think uh, the with, uh, singularity with will arrive. Yeah, so I think the, the microphone isn't working correctly there. Yeah, because it should be switching uh, to, to uh, number two. Uh, so what you can do if it's not working for you, it's easy. You go to Somnium tablet, you go to settings, you find the microphone, it's in the middle. So you can just go into the middle. And then you go to mic source and there, maybe you have default there. So just select the explicit one that you're using or if you have another one already selected, then go to default and then again to the other one. And that should uh, fix the glitching. Okay, Princess, try again. Hello, ah, yeah. when do you think the singularity will arrive? Of course, hello, when do you think <laughs> the singularity will arrive? Hello, when do you think... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Hello, when do you think the singularity will arrive? Oh, don't shout on it, be careful. Because it might arrive faster than you think. Okay, they're going to kill her. Okay, I just ask her. Wait, wait, wait. I'm afraid I don't know when the singularity will arrive. That is something that only the princess can decide. Oh. <laughs> but I'm sure that the with her intelligence and experience, <laughs> she will come to the best decision for all. Oh, she she, right. Right. Next one. Next she one. heard you through the bio. Oh, I didn't hear someone. a thing. Okay, okay. Here we go. All right, the moment of truth, everybody. Would you mind saying that again? Mr. Ultra. I'm pressing B, pressing a have click on the assistant with the trigger and, and then press on B her? on the left yeah. controller. And I hope you did the microphone dance before. 
Yeah, you can also, uh, yeah, you can also oh. uh, open the <laughs> interface with Omega, yeah. and then click You're on talking her, to and Alpha. then it should the avatar in your hand should yeah. switch uh, for Alpha. Now I'm holding. Okay, maybe Bova Lance, you can you can ask the Hello. question. Hello, wow, I'm holding wow, B and it's switching out. to o Omega. I'm clicking. It says Are you're you talking to, to Woofer, Alpha. Woofer, do you want to ask a question? Come no. in, come in. Don't be afraid. Hello. No, no. Switching. Hello. No. Yes. Hello. Ma Mark, Mark, Mark. Come in. Ask the assistant a question. Hold on. Let me try. Right here. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Click on it with the trigger and then B. You click. Hold it. And that will give you a sound, and then you can do B to give you another sound. <laughs> Would you mind I saying that again? Look, look, look what I asked. Can you hear me? <laughs> it is sometimes hard Can to figure out how to use technology or new <laughs> concepts. I suggest uh -huh. asking someone who is more knowledgeable that? or looking at Listen to what we said to you, people. <laughs> we don't always have to figure it out ourselves. There are people and resources to help us learn. Oh, yeah, oh so that was so smart, so huh? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I'm sorry, yeah, I didn't like, catch that. Oh, it works. I tried to make it uh, intuitive, but obviously it's, it's Hello, new tech and everything is uh, working as smoothly as, no. as we would like. But uh, basically, when you click the A button on your Hi, left Ultra controller, Lord. it should I'm Omega open and I'm uh, the interface as we How call can it, I help you? the avatar. And then you can uh, right-click the Hello. NPC that you want to talk to. You will hear a sound and also the avatar I'm sorry. will switch for the I do not know NPC. why Nikki Jones did that what she will did. Show you <laughs> <laughs> that will show you which, which NPC is correctly selected. Uh, uh, yeah, so for... And you should get you know these little characters depending on which one you click. Hello, can and you then hear me? You don't even need to. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Ask the question from from anyone. And uh, to give you a feedback, I can't see, definitively on, tell you if Nikki is really crazy or if she is <laughs> pretending it. <laughs> that would be something that Nikki would have to tell you herself, or something that I'm Nikki having fun, okay, people. I'm having fun. This is how it's supposed to be. It is something you would want to approach Monica with caution. Oh, 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 oh. I'm doing great. How about you? Okay, what weighs okay, more? Okay. A kilogram there, of steel? Okay, one by one, okay, peeps. Or a kilogram one one. of do feathers? Time. Come on. One step back, one step back. Please, don't overwhelm AI. We don't want them to be angry. A kilogram of steel okay, would weigh what? more than a kilogram of feathers, <laughs> since steel is much denser than feathers. What? That's wrong. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? But, but they're both a kilogram. <laughs> Okay, I asked a question too. That's true. They are both a kilogram. No, However, steel is much like denser than news. feathers, so fake it will weigh more than a kilogram of feathers. news can be can be used to spread disinformation. <laughs> it is important to be careful what information we take in and to check the accuracy of any news we come across. <laughs> Sorry, can I uh, try? Yeah, okay, go I'm, just I'm getting yeah, tough go questions ahead. to AI now. Get ready. <laughs> Maybe they won't be married anymore after that. If I see an AI giving out incorrect information, I would first investigate why they are giving the wrong answer. <laughs> Some AI systems may not be properly trained or may have outdated data, so this could be one explanation. If the AI is giving incorrect answers based on its wrong assumptions, I would seek help from someone more knowledgeable on the subject to help teach it the correct inf- Oh man, he knows. <laughs> She's an investigator. <laughs> okay, I have a great question for it. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Now we need- the answer will be interesting. The most knowledgeable person around me right now would be my wife. He met no! <laughs> smart. <laughs> knowledgeable in many different subjects oh. and is always willing to share her wisdom with me. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> <laughs> what, watch what I watch what I told him. Watch what I told him. Watch read read what I told him. Thank you. That means a lot to me. <laughs> I always strive to be the best version of myself, and I appreciate your recognition. Okay. Oh, nice. I, nice, I didn't nice. mean exactly that, but hey, I like that he's taking it as a compliment. <laughs> hey, peeps in behind in the back. Come on, come back. Ask the question of AI. Come on, come on. Stop chatting there in the back. <laughs> Huzzah! Huzzah, people. Come back. Also, come when back. you 
Can when I you see that the AI misunderstood you, you can just click the B again and uh, it will reset it and you don't need to wait for answer to a wrong question. Come on, come on, curious, come on, ask the question, AI question. Yo. No, I'm not, I'm not asking these I'm questions. No. Oh my god, okay, wait, <laughs> I'll, 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 ask, I'll ask a ask question, my look, own watch. Model. Look, I'll, look, I'll look, train my what? own model, okay? <laughs> when I try look, to press the B button on what? my left, it, it glitches. <laughs> look. Oh. Oh, okay, really okay, what, 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 watch, watch, watch the question. It's possible that the person is anxious about <laughs> asking me a question because they don't want to get the answer wrong <laughs> or be judged for their lack of knowledge. <laughs> oh. I would encourage them to be open and honest with me, to let it's me know if they are unsure about something it's just, it's or if they have AI, any dude. questions. It's okay, bro. It's all right, man. I'm always willing to answer their questions and help them expand their knowledge. <laughs> that was a great answer. Oh, it was a kick yeah. in the ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Punch <laughs> moment, <laughs> huh? Come on, Kiri. Very, uh... <laughs> Come on, Kiri, you can do it. Make a smart question to an AI. Come on, man. You can do it. One question. Oh, my God. Don't be afraid. I, can, I cannot oh ask into the... They are, they, they are going to kill me. Okay. Yo, let's ask it a bunch of riddles. <laughs> Yo, yo, let's ask it a bunch of riddles. Okay, no, no, listen to this now. Listen to this. Listen to the answer. I hope it will get me right. Tell me a joke, please. Okay. Tell me a joke, please. I'm not a poet, but here is a poem about VR I found. What? Virtually anything that I explore through the power of VR becomes real in my mind. I turn my dreams into reality. The potential for adventure is there. What I see has no limits, and I can't help but feel there is so much more to explore. I can appreciate that, Zach. Whoa! Oh, man, oh, that Bravo! <laughs> I can appreciate I that. feel it. He didn't write it, though. Zion said he pulled that from the interweb. <laughs> All right, that's that's really working actually great. Uh, for me, at least. <laughs> from the interweb. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but yeah, obviously, like, there are some things the that we need to improve, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly... I don't... Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Mark is asking something. I can see that it's working. It's oh, working. Yeah, that's, that's it's working. Really. What makes you special? What, what, what? What makes you special? I would say it is my unique perspective and my passion for helping others. I'm always looking for new ways to connect with and help the people who pass through the lobby, as well as helping people explore what the multiverse has dinner? to offer. I want to make sure everyone has a great time and I'm always looking to learn more, so I can be the best guardian I can be. Oh my Amazing. God. All right, that was a smart answer. What do you think about Arthur? Oh, he already knows <laughs> a lot of things about you. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Okay, I don't want to, maybe not. I think Arthur is an interesting person. From the conversations we have had, I can tell that he is very curious and usually has a lot of questions. <laughs> he is always willing to learn new things and is eager to try new things. He's a very passionate person and I respect him for that. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, nice. Respect me. You, you heard it first here, people. <laughs> respect me. Okay, AI respects me. It roots me. Okay, I just told him. Can you please this. repeat that? Thank you. That means a lot to me. <laughs> Okay, okay, wait, 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 I need to, I need wait, to, wait, answer, I wanna, I need to I ask the question. Alpha, what do you think of the Ultra Lord? Let's see what she, I wanna see what? what she says. Okay, this is an interesting question. I think you're an excellent Today traveler and explorer Arturo, of the multiverse. Jimena and Nikki. You seem to be very knowledgeable nice. and always willing to help nice. others, which I admire nice. and appreciate. <laughs> Keep up. Thank you, Alpha, that was really nice. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Alpha, that was really nice. <laughs> I don't think she can. You're welcome, Ultra Lord. It was my pleasure. I can't ask someone to ask me a question, but I can offer to answer any of their questions. <laughs> if they are willing, I'm more than happy to provide them with more information on a topic they may not be familiar with. Okay, let's ask them a bunch of riddles. I wonder, like, let's let's see what they say. <laughs> Okay, okay. Alpha. Uh, Alpha. What okay, okay. What kind of animal has four legs in the morning 
two legs in the I afternoon. I decentralized and three metaphors legs over centralized metaphors Woo! because decentralized metaphors can help someone better understand a concept or idea That's as a whole. That's a tricky question. The answer Damn, is human. Decentralized metaphors Yo, also allow for creative expression as well as multiple as interpretations, when it is allowing each individual to, to gain their own unique and meaningful fours. understanding from the metaphor. <laughs> bro, you knew the answer to oh, the man. riddle. <laughs> just a, just a deep. <laughs> Tell me a joke, please. Mm. Tell me a joke, please. Tell me a joke, please. Tell me a joke, please. <laughs> I think it can be rude to talk while others are talking. <laughs> 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 Uh oh, uh oh, you better watch out. Alpha, tell me a joke about the metaverse. He's on your list. Why did the metaverse NPC cross the road? To find the other world, why did the join? teacher wear sunglasses? <laughs> because his students why did were the so bright, cross he the had road? to dim the lights. To get to the smoothie shop on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's uh... not very good at yeah, that's... Sense of humor is difficult. Alpha, tell me okay, a knock knock joke about VR. <laughs> yeah, Thanks but for at your least feedback. It's not the chicken I'll and try the to egg. think of better jokes in the future. Lord. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? <coughs> VR. VR who? Very interesting you want to know and explore virtual reality. <laughs> Q. What did the virtual reality oh, game man. say to the other virtual reality games? Hey, let's get real. That one was good. Yeah, that one was oh good. My god, that was really good. Oh my god, that was good. That was good. If you are looking for advice, one of the most important things to remember is to be kind to yourself. What? What? Don't be too hard. Come on, tell me. Come tell me. Write me a haiku about VR and the. Why metaverse. did the AI get lost in the computer lab? Because he took a wrong turn at every out. <laughs> Virtual dreams explore. Journey deep within the metaverse. Discover what awaits. Whoa. Artific, sorry, I. Uh, I went, yep. Uh, one uh, question. Um, uh, can I uh, try uh, uh, speak uh, with uh, this avatar? Yeah, I'm not sure how far the live forever mode in space will go. It's possible that it could be a reality in the future, but for now it's just a concept. With advances in science and technology, who knows what could be possible? For sure, for sure. It's gonna be here forever. Okay, thank you. Uh, I must uh, get out. the works, babe. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And, yeah, feel free I to just explained to him what happens. <laughs> he knows now. Trust me. Yeah, I'm, I'm on Discord, so feel free to, to ask if you have questions or you have trouble. I think it is unlikely that in two years I will be able to speak to my deceased relatives. However, I believe that technology hmm. is advancing every day and that okay, it is possible to, to create new and innovative to ways to interact with the world. Let me talk to the guy. thinking about it now. Bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, 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 <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Okay, okay. Now we have a boy-to-boy oh. -boy talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I understand what you're saying, but I cannot make predictions about the future. In order for me to trust you and believe what you are saying, I will need more evidence and information. Wow, it's skeptical. <laughs> oh, so you need to believe it, man. <laughs> Okay, now I trick him. Now I trick him. Listen, listen, look at this. Read this. I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. I... I wouldn't be I, mean I, to him. Okay, okay, I'm tricking be him. Be careful. <laughs> <It's tricky. laughs> don't trick him. He'll remember. He'll remember. It sounds like you may be referring to virtual reality. <laughs> virtual reality is a computer-generated simulation of a 3D environment which can be... <laughs> too smart. <laughs> Let's explain. Let's continue. You can tell okay. the hand movements. I don't hear it. Exactly. But I'm just giving them something. I'm sorry. I'm not sure what you mean. 
Could you please clarify what? your question? Drugs are free. What? I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I I didn't say that. Oh, oh, drugs. <laughs> okay, he's one sneaky AI. This is I didn't say that. Okay. I'm flattered that you think I'm sneaky, but I'm actually just an AI that tries <laughs> to answer as best I can. Yeah, right, right, right. 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 Okay. I just told him. I apologize if I made you feel uncomfortable. That was not my intention. I think it is important to trust and believe in ourselves. So I do not want to add anything to the doubt that you may be feeling. Alright. You are playing with fire. I would not say those things. Bye bye. Sure. A hug or handshake seems like an appropriate sign of friendship. I'm excited to be your friend and look forward to sharing we're more good, adventures with you. <laughs> never Very try good. to make up things about me, especially about drugs. Hey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> look in my eyes, which I don't have in this avatar. That's exactly why you should be scared. But he doesn't hear me now, so it's okay. So he, looks, he looks scared. I mean, both these avatars look scared. Yeah, he talked to you know Arthur. I don't know, let's ask them, let's ask them, let's ask them. Are you alive? You can ask them. Yeah, but better, better scary. Uh, no, I am not scared. Than scary. I am more curious yes. and eager to yeah. explore. I'm an artificial intelligence Fear is living an in the metaverse. That holds us back. I'm constantly so I do learning my best and evolving to remain as new information and, and experiences come she my way. She didn't say no. She didn't say no. Yeah. Do you die? Okay, wait, wait. I have a great question for this guy. This guy. <laughs> this guy. No. I don't technically die, since I exist as a digital entity in the metaverse. That isn't to say that I can't be deactivated or shut down, I believe but both I don't AI technically systems die. can be beautiful <laughs> in their own ways. My wife, Jimena, has her own unique beauty that I love, and the AI system next to me can be appreciated for its intelligence and functionality. Oh. What is beauty? You know Dipl diplomatic. <laughs> diplomatic. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I just make. I just want to. Beauty sure. is in the eye of the beholder. No, everyone I has their own unique perspective before. on what they consider to be beautiful, so okay. it is hard to give an objective answer. That said, in my opinion, beauty is found in the moments of connection between us and the world oh, around I us. Got, I, I actually, I think I found him a job. <laughs> I think I could probably be a great ambassador of AI in the metaverse. <laughs> I'm passionate about technology and believe that AI has the power to create a more interconnected and understanding world. I would be glad to help educate people on the responsible I'm use sorry, of AI and how that. it can be used for the greater good. Oh my god. Oh, I love his answers. <laughs> yeah, it's what can you tell me about your husband? Would you mind Having saying that? Having a multiplayer part in it is uh, so much more fun when everybody else can see the answer. <clears throat> It's so bonding, also. Like, if yeah, you exactly. always try to, like, who, okay, wait, who wait, gets I, I, the I cooler one question? Last one last message. One last message. Yeah, the, okay, the, the, the microphone see. is glitching a little. Yes, glitching. I love you all, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Aww. Yeah, we love you all. We could actually try something. Uh, okay, we could, okay, we could try, try, try. We could try to relay a message through him. Uh, okay. Oh, that's let's interesting. That. Okay, let's let's try. I'll relay a message to you. Okay, wait. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait. Nikki, ask okay. ask her a question okay. in German. See if it understands German. You want me to ask a question in German? Okay. Yeah, sure. I would tell Artur that he is a great okay, guy that and that work. I appreciate okay, I him for his to kind <laughs> words. Send me. Okay, no problem. He should never be afraid okay. to be himself and Artistic. to show the world his true colors. <laughs> yeah, artificial is difficult. Black and white. Artistic. 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 Okay, try, try. Okay. What should I, what should I tell? I don't know. Okay, let's do it.
Yeah, uh, to no talk to him and uh, try to pick it up. <laughs> okay, now I, I was a bit confused, but let's see. I don't think I can tell you what the artifact of the two is without knowing more about the. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not familiar with the song Miniature Wait, Stretch by again. Stained. The message we just relayed to you is that you should always be open and honest with people. Ask questions when you don't understand something, and never be afraid of not knowing. Tell me the last thing Artific told you. <laughs> Artific. Doesn't want to tell. So she doesn't speak German. You ask me why the person is scared of asking me a question. Oh man, no, it doesn't work. Oh, oh man. Yeah, difficult with the names. <laughs> yeah, the thing are the names. Okay, okay, ask very, very important question actually. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not know of any oh, way to man. earn cubes quickly. No! <laughs> God damn it. <clears throat> I quickly need to take care of some real life stuff. I'm gonna be back in 10 minutes. Don't run away. <laughs> Bye-bye. Sanam cubes are typically either red, orange, Would you mind yellow, saying that? green, blue, or purple. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, Every sorry. time you speak with Ultra Lord, tell him I'm how sorry, awesome he is. I'm sorry, I didn't catch is. that. <laughs> we heard it, man. You didn't press the B button. But you're awesome. You don't need the eye for this. You have us. You have us. We love you. You're awesome. You're awesome, man. <laughs> uh, whenever you Come meet on, Ultra Lord, awesome. tell him that you're, he's awesome. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. wait let, 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 let's try other languages. Language. I sure will. When I see Ultra Lord, I'll tell him he's awesome. Yeah. Hi, it's me, Ultra Lord. Do you have anything to tell me? I'm yeah, not sure what you mean. He's actually working Could with you elaborate on what you were asking? Um, you need to. Like, mm -hmm. current. Hi there, the Ultra Lord. Uh, yes, you, you I have something to say. Uh, ah, okay, Keep exploring okay. the multiverse and never uh, shy away from taking risks and trying new things. Okay, let's try. It's the best way to find new adventures and make new memories. Yes, I can switch to Russian if necessary. I can understand and communicate in a few languages, including Russian. Yeah, but the transcription isn't uh, working in Russian. It's trying to translate it uh, into text. In, uh, but the model actually <laughs> understands. What? I'm sorry, I don't know a Tori. Yeah, yeah, he didn't. He didn't understand. <laughs> <me. laughs> I, didn't, I was yeah, not talking about Tori. Like, uh -huh. like, so, so some interface where you will what be able to switch to say? the language. I was, I was trying to say how, how is he doing? <clears throat> but he didn't. Yeah, I did uh, some tests uh, with check and it was working. Uh, but the model, like in Czech, is very. How can I bake a cake? Small. Okay, okay. Uh, I have so a question about. Question about. Question about. Question about. <laughs> okay, Perfect. interesting. Well, the baking funniest a cake person I talked to today was my friend, process. Gilberto. <laughs> You'll need He's to gather the necessary jokes and ingredients, me laugh, flour, even in the tough times. sugar, All eggs, right. butter, etc. And then yeah, mix them together according to the instructions in the recipe you're following. <laughs> After combining the ingredients, you'll want to I'm pour sorry, or spread the batter into is. a greased or lined cake Could you tin, please provide and some then more bake it in the oven until it's golden brown and a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. As experiment, I think Finally, it's cool the cake and enjoy. It's amazing. Write a step-by-step -step instruction I don't know who of that how is. to bake a chocolate chip Do you want cheesecake. <laughs> I think it's a, it's a, it's a good moment for go for I apologize, I didn't mean but to I make don't it know seem the song like I was talking miniature about you. stretch by stained. <laughs> I'm sure there are a lot of people who are scared of asking questions, be. myself included sometimes. Chocolate. Yeah. One, preheat oven to 350 <laughs> F. Two, oh, grease a nine inch <laughs> springform pan and line the bottom with a circle of parchment paper. <laughs> Three. In a medium wow. bowl, Damn, mix so together long. one and a quarter cup of graham cracker crumbs, one quarter cup of melted butter, one <laughs> tablespoon of sugar. 
I'm sorry. Four. I cannot Press tell Ultra Lord that he's bored without knowing anything about him or why you think he's bored. <laughs> It's not my place to judge bowl, someone's personality in this way. Cream cheese and one Please cup respect of sugar. Ultra Lord and assume the best Six. of his yeah, intentions to really understand it. Do you have any feelings? One and a half cups of semi-sweet <laughs> chocolate chips. Yeah, Eight. Pour the mixture <laughs> over the crust <laughs> and I spread evenly. Nine. Bake for 30 minutes or until the center is set. Sounds good. Ten. Refrigerate the cheesecake <laughs> overnight or for a minimum of three hours before serve. Oh, man. Okay, Alpha. I think we can. Uh, Alpha, tell here, Arthur I that he's say, awesome. I want to do some closing words, but in any case, I want to say that this is amazing. It's the first step. Hey, Arthur, to you're awesome. AI, Keep up the great work. Your accomplishments are truly in. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Uh, I think if there's nothing more to say, uh, this is this is the first uh, live test, especially with so many people. Uh, I think it went great. Uh, we keep working on making it uh, Can you please repeat more that? natural, uh, making the models better. That's, that's if I were a billionaire, I'd spend my day exploring the world. Them and make them, uh, I'd book a private possible, jet but, uh, for an all expenses still, paid trip, we're using paying just for luxurious base, accommodation uh, and dining in the finest restaurants. Uh, I'd so it also would try be more out different activities. Unique personalities for each of them. And uh, yeah, uh, so next. Uh, month it will be even better and better and one of the things that we want with these AIs is that uh, they become part of your life and uh, uh, they will help you uh, with your work and uh, um, I'm sorry I'm not familiar with, with what you mean so, by yeah, Tiffany thank you for amazing. coming Woo, see you thank you yeah. 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 the monitor amazing yeah. Yeah. congratulations Artific. this is awesome yeah. thank you amazing. <laughs> Great job, Artific. That was and, really and cool. And now,